Ho meglio stasera, baby, go, go, go. Oh, as we need to say, fast be told. If you're ever gonna kiss me, you'll have better be tonight. Hey, Buzz Magazine, it's Frank Marino. I am so glad to be out here. You would not believe what we got going on backstage. We have Madonna, Cher, Bette Midler, and they're all shaving in the same mirror. Hi, I'm Kim Katz with Buzz News in Chicago, but I'm not in Chicago. I'm in Las Vegas, and I'm here after seeing for the second time the most awesome must-see show in Las Vegas, La Cage, with its longest running headliner star, Queen Diva. Keep going, girl. Frank Marino. Yay! <laughs> Loved it the second time. Did you? Gotta see it again. I get nervous when again. people come back a second time if they're gonna like it again. Let me tell you something. I um uh, I get nervous when I have to see things more than once because I'm reviewing them and I'm always it's watching. Funny, and I'm watching, exactly. Watching. I can't watch anything twice. Right, and I want to be enthusiastic, and I don't know if I can do it. Loved it again, and oh, you know good. what? I needed to see it tonight, and I want to tell you what's so great about this show is that you come in, especially like at the end of a Vegas trip, you're a little down, maybe you're a little down on cash, a little lucky, unlucky in love, whatever, and then you see your show and you feel so happy and so good and so like, um, I don't want to say like a kid again because I, you feel like a, like a woman again, <laughs> you know? It's just so uh, awesome. You guys are so talented. Um, all of the players, I want to just say, are totally Aren't they talented. Great? Britney Spears, Shan, Oh my Madonna. God. Shout out to all of them. What's her name? Celine Dion. We got them all. I love the. When no Celine need to pay all the them money to go to her. Come here. It's Seriously, a lot it's like getting a sampler of every headliner. Today. They'll be nice to you. She said, Here's your one chance, fans, and don't let me down. Start. All the women that have ever performed. You really do feel like you've seen a little clip of each one. And you get humor, which is so fabulous. And we get people from all ages. We got uh, prom kids, which will like Britney, and we got senior citizens who right. will love Judy Garland. It's a totally clean show, but it's totally sexy and adult. You know what I'm saying? That's a it's good, both. good scenario. It's true. It, yeah. It's true. I mean, I would actually feel more comfortable uh, bringing young people to see this than a lot of the other stuff. I it's agree. It's supposed to be for young I people. I agree. Uh, it's just adorable. It makes you feel so good inside. And I want to say, I already said this before, but I love female impersonators because they make me feel like somebody wants to be a woman. You know what I mean? It, like somebody wants to deal with the high heels and the makeup and the crap, because I don't. But you make it like it's desirable, you know? And I actually think, we talked about this a little bit, that you are a part of history and that this is a feminist, this might sound strange, a feminist show because it honors women right. in all of their nuances. It doesn't make fun of them just because some of them are funny. Really, it makes you respect them more. It does, and it makes you realize how unique they are. And that even just a little hand gesture, you guys are all so fabulous with the gestures, the tiny, tiny details. You see the unique personality that you grab of a Cher or Judy Garland. It's, a, it's an eye blink, it really is. Really? Or, it's or a, a shaking of the wrist for it's Judy. A I know it's a hair toss, it's, you know, it's those little things have them absolutely down. And that's an homage to a woman. Right. And that's we hope saying, that you know, people in the audience notice that. Right. Oh, yeah. The, the like homage. my shoes. I have new shoes for every outfit. I love and people all of me, your Why do you bother? I go, because people tell me I love your shoes. So uh -huh. why let them down? I can get away with, away with one pair. Right. Why do that? Right. Every outfit has its own jewelry. Gorgeous. Never copy. Never I'm duplicate. I'm so jealous of your costume. Every time you come out, and, and your tininess, how do you stay in well, shape to well, be like that? Well, not that tiny. I need to lose 20 pounds for the yeah, decade. Yes, shut up. No. I do. No, don't but ever when say I lose it, I'll come back. We'll do to another lose one. Forty pounds. Just don't even say it. Go ahead. How do you say in shape? Um, you're teeny I just, every tiny. time I go to eat something, I go. Does Jenny know you're eating that? Oh no, she doesn't know. <laughs> so you're a not eater. Okay, that's not going to help me. But. No, I'm an eater. I'm an eater. I just okay. got to stop myself. I'm I'm big. I'm Italian. I eat everything. Good, so much good. Of I'll I'll go with you. I'll help you out. With it. Armani. Well, Salvation Armani, but you know what I mean. 
But um, you have a, uh, a star here. I got the star in Las Vegas on the Walk of the Fame. The Walk of Fame. I got the street. A street named Frank after Frank Marino them. Drive. Um, I keep the city. Oh, I keep the but city. But wait, I think it's to the back door. I'm not sure. <laughs> Does it open anybody's chastity belt? I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you also have, you were in Miss Congeniality too. Right, which is exciting with Sandra what, Bullock. Now, were you playing yourself or were you playing I played myself. She came to our show to find awesome. um, the kidnapper. Now, that's huge. When you're playing Very yourself huge. in Let a major Let me tell you how I got it. She came out of my showroom. She came as a guest. She came out because she wanted to be in my movie. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and then goodbye. I never think you're going to hear from her. I'm on a cruise. I'm in Hawaii. My cell phone rings, and it's like, hi, it's Sandra Bullock. Wow. And I'm like, excuse me, it's Sandy Bullock. And it was mm. like, who? <laughs> and she goes, you ready to be on the show? I said, I'll be there. Oh, my God. And I saw you in it. It's adorable. And I was going to say, when you're playing yourself in a major motion picture, you know that you are somebody. Right, and I'd love to read it. They go, how do you want your name? I said, Frank Marino as Frank Marino. Mm. That was big. And then the mayor gave Dude. me February 1st. It's Frank Marino Day now. Oh, that's right, your own day. My that's own so day. What do you do on Frank Marino Day? What do you do? Everything they do every day. Work, 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 <laughs> oh, work. Oh, you don't have a wild party for yourself? I should, huh? You should. Because how you many people totally. have a day? Gosh. How many drag queens have a street? It's bigger than a birthday. And it'll never change. You've got to do something special. Mm -hmm. Get you some special drugs. Well, you're right. Part of history for the fact that when I got here, I was working alongside Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr. And being 19 years old, I had no wow. idea what impact that was. But you knew at the time how momentous it was. I knew how big they were, star them. how big yeah. of stars they were, but I didn't realize what it would mean later on. Liberace, I mean. Right, right. Do you think that um, Vegas seems to be changing? It's like they're taking away a lot of the live music stages. Mm -hmm. I've seen more That was the first thing live, things. yeah. And uh, production show, but cert right. shows are taking over. Yeah. But why? Yeah, are they so ever? many? They're like, you've seen one, you've seen them all. I know. And I feel like the old Vegas, the best parts of it, the golden Vegas, are starting to slip away. Oh, that's why I love your show. It's totally, it's totally modern. I would love looking out my dressing room window across the street, seeing Diana Ross on a marquee, you know, the big stars like that. Right. You don't right. see it anymore. I know, but I'm saying your show, it shows like yours, your show is like, uh, it's just full of talent, you know what I mean? Like you Small said, 